mm -hmm. uh, operated on a young man mwenye kile symptom alikuwa nayo ni alikuwa akipoteza jobs mm. He used to be ah. a very yes, he used to be a very responsible young man, alikuwa church elder, alikuwa kwa choir ya ya ya, ya, ya kanisani. Mm -hmm. Then he just started having headaches for a long period of time and started changing the personality of who he was. Could not retain a job, could not keep his word, uh, started getting forgetfulness. If that is seen earlier, unaweza ukaona she, she even knows the sort of tumor nasema because of <laughs> mahali ambapo yuko. And, and he had a spe, oh. just a specific type of tumor. By the time I was operating on him, I think his social fabric had broken down. Mm. And yeah. he's doing very well. He's picked himself up, he's, he's moving on. So you all have these stories, but it's not a simplistic story at iniki gusa hapa, nafanya kengori ya nze kubehave kama sijui na mnagani. It's just, mm. the brain is a lot more complex than that. Maze, your example yako ilikuwa vile mara ya kwanza ulianza nilikuwa like wow you can solve unemployment through uh, neurosurgery <laughs> that would be an expensive way <laughs> <laughs> you can touch but uh, doctor uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very expensive way uh, but honestly in your in your in your academics yes. you can actually tell a fool when you <laughs> <laughs> Kinguri sasa imeanza kwa therapy session. What do you want to tell us? To scare. Hapana, 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 hapana. Na azim, ni vile mwezi sema but unaweza fungua mtu useme jamani mjinga sana. Hapana, hapana. Au mwezi sema as it does not show physically. No. It's beyond that. It's beyond that. Sometimes you can look at the anatomy of the brain and understand that somebody's function for higher functions imepungua because of the disease process. You always kusema this person is a nini. You ni shida ame, you know, through their disease process ama vile ameumbwa. But we don't open, nimekwambia kuna mind choices umefanya. Kila mtu amepewa kipawa. So the way you used it, do in a determine if you're a fool or not. Mm. And that is not something a neurosurgeon deals with. That is the personal choices you've made. Yeah. <laughs> as in, I think for the six years as a med school, first of all, the four years is an etiquette. Yani, mtu wa wagetu useme the way it is. Ni ngumu, ni ngumu, ni ngumu, ni ngumu. But tunakwambia the way it is. Yeah. Because the, co the concepts on Uliza are very complex. Like intelligence. Yeah. It's an extremely complex thing. It's, uh, it, it, because you can be intelligent in one thing and, as you're saying, a fool in something completely different. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so it is a lot to do, yes, with the structure and the biochemistry and the function of the brain, yes. but also your exposures in life and what, mm -hmm. what, what you, the, the nurture that you have. So you can't, as we always keep saying, you can't judge a fish by asking it to climb a tree. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, in that sense, that fish is stupid. But to kieka kwa maji? Kweli. Iko. Na, 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 challenges, na challenges on the job tuseme kama in Kenya. We kwanza ulitoka UK, nilimuuliza, alitoka UK akifanya the same job which I believe ama I assume you would have made more money ukarudi home. So the, the choices that you make in life are always more than just about the money that you make. I think if you look at anyone who's successful, yeah. whether it's Kipchego Kerino or anyone that you think is your hero, if only money drives you, then you don't get to the next level. So wow. I came from here I went to the UK and then I needed a new challenge and I came home. Why did I come home? I think there's so much to learn. First of all, uh, the way you practice medicine is within a subtle cultural context. So, nimekuwa mwanafunzi tena. Nikichukua mfano, so in the UK everything is measured in, 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 in distance. Nikikuliza how much pain you have out of 10. Unaweza kuniambia 5, 4 things and like but actually if you think about our languages, that's not how we measure mm -hmm. pain. Ukimuuliza mtu anakuambia niko na uchungu kwa umbali ama iko uchungu hapa nini? And that's not the same. So how we experience medicine is different. So for me, it's an exciting time to come home. I am learning a lot. I'm also contributing, and there's a lot for me to contribute into and learn with my colleagues. Tunanza, you know, ni kama relay race. There are those who went before us who started medical schools. There are those who yes. came before us who started residency programs. Sasa now it's for us, what is the next level? We want, we want to train more people. Yes. We want to make the services available to more people in our country. Yes. We want to make it easier for people to get treatment locally um, and to get the right advice so that they can be treated in their, in their cultural context. Unapua down in their home instead of having to fly out. So there's a lot of opportunity yes. and the, the privilege of coming home. I don't know what you think as well. If, if I could get every trained professional who's Kenyan <laughs> out there to come back home, yeah. I'd want them to come back home. Wow. Because there are solutions that they, that they can offer our people and yes. there are solutions that mm -hmm. we need. Mm -hmm. So yes. her coming back home is extremely encouraged and would want uh, to encourage people to do the same, train a little bit more. Yeah. We already agreed that kuna shortage kubwa. Yes, yes, so yes, kifukuza yes. uyu, so umefunguza tena mmoja. <laughs> <laughs> eh, 